I guess you could say that I was pretty unlucky during my 2017 season. I uh, broke my collarbone in the beginning of the year and uh, I had to get a surgery on it. That took me out for a couple of months and uh, I did the rehab and everything, got back on my bike, felt fine and uh, did my first event back in July where I ended up pretty good. So that made me a bit confident going into my next event that was uh, Joyride in Whistler and uh, just 20 minutes before the contest, I broke my other collarbone in practice. So that really sucked because that put me back on square one again and uh, I had to go through pretty much the same process of getting back on the bike and doing all the rehab again. So yeah, it was a tough one for sure. Typ då antar. Känns det bra? Ja, bra. Grymt. Ja, tack för idag. Tack själv. After breaking both of my collarbones and being off the bike for pretty much a whole season, I've uh, tried to look more serious on the health side of things and uh, really try to do as much as I can outside of my riding so I can stay on my bike and not get injured again. Six to eight months out of the year we're riding indoor skate parks and uh, I actually love it. It's how I started riding as a kid and uh, now we're still going with some good old friends and getting our sessions in. <laughs> so in the span of 10 years I've seen him go from smallest little Grom to well, officially world second. And it's pretty insane to see the progression uh, since we were watching Crankworks since we were kids. Uh, and then a couple of years later we're actually, I'm watching the live, live feed and he's competing and becoming a third. And also second in the world, which is pretty insane for such a close friend as he is. Max is pretty much the most stubborn person I know. We usually discuss about things that he could learn and then we could be here for two hours, three hours, six hours. We're gonna be here until he actually nails it. Mm -hmm. 